So elevated multifamily valuations have most mostly corrected, but I believe in 24, you'll you'll see the bottom. Um, I'm sort of calling that. I, I think that a year from a day will kind of be the bottom. Why do I think it'll be about a year from a day? Because I think there was a record amount of transactions in 21, and Dave will cover this on the debt side. Lots of those transactions um, were financed with floating rate um, debt. Lots of that was debt fund debt. Lots of those terms of debt were two to three years. And so all that debt is sort of coming due in 24. Um, it's expiring. It has to find new debt. Um, and so I think that the lack of transactions you see this year will be replaced by real transactions next year. And a lot of those transactions are going to be at prices that are um, quite surprising to investors because what I said before, the fundamentals are incredibly strong. So my outlook on next year is you're going to have really interesting buying opportunities and you should take them. Um, I think that this is a fortress asset class over the next 10, 20, 30 years. It certainly has been over the last 30. Highest returning, lowest risk real estate asset class. Um, I believe that'll continue. I don't think it's disruptable either by technology. We have a fundamental need for housing and shelter and we're undersupplied. The problem is too many transactions happened in 21 and early 22 at irrational valuations. We never should have had cap rates at 3.3, 3.4, never. We're historically an asset that grows at 3%. You shouldn't pay 30 times multiple on that. You should not. And we kind of voted with our checkbook. Origin hasn't bought a building in four years. We're a firm with billions of EUM. We, we didn't buy a building for four years. We were wrong, by the way, in 21, when everything was going up so fast. We hadn't bought anything. Um, we're not wrong right now. But I do think there will be a real opportunity in this. Um, and by the way, the other thing I want to cover is it's already corrected. And so if you're talking, if you're in a deal or a fund and it's equity um, and they're, you know, they're saying it's unchanged, that, that's just that's just impossible. Um, valuations are down anywhere from the most protected assets in the best markets um, from peak, by the way. Peak means that irrational spike in 21. Um, they're down anywhere from 15 to 30 um, percent. There's not a lot of transactions, but I'll cite a few. Um, and these are these are the, the, the transactions I'm going to cite. I'll be very brief, but one asset in Phoenix, one asset in Tampa, um, both relatively new, um, both traded at 30 or 40 percent above replacement costs um, in 21 and early 22. That should never happen. That's one of the reasons we didn't buy. As a compass, whether you're investing with Origin or, or on your own, don't pay that high over replacement cost ever for real estate. It's a, it's, it's a losing proposition. In this case, the assets were a few years old too, which makes it worse. They're buying not new product at 30 to 40% of replacement. And so now um, the assets have corrected 30%. And you know they're essentially, in both cases, um, they traded around 400,000 a door. Now they're trading plus or minus 300,000, a little sub 300, 288 a door. Um, and these are real transactions happening right now. And in the case of the Phoenix asset, it was financed by a debt fund that um, has now seized control of the asset and is selling it. Um, it's a good asset that the last buyer just paid too much for. Um, fundamentals are sound. Um, they just paid way too much. And um, at the price it's trading today, um, where Origin still isn't a buyer, um, we would entertain buying it at about 10% below here because. Although it's trading slightly below replacement, which is one compass, um, it's a solid asset in good market. It still doesn't have positive leverage. So if you're buying it at a five and a quarter and you're financing it, the tens day are four two and the spread is generally about 170, you're still borrowing in the high fives. That's negative leverage. And so I, I don't I don't want to buy assets and get negative leverage to have a lower return that's levered than unlevered. And so th these things still need to work out. And again, when I talk about residential needing either to go lower in price or rates need to go down, that same dialectic applies to multifamily. And so I think that you're still going to see a little more correction next year, um, not much, and it'll be 
uh, driven by explorations that, that Dave will cover.